Hi guys, Gadget Man 404 here. Uh, I'm gonna do a test flight. I'm going out to sea, which is over, you can just see it over there. It's about seven, eight hundred meters. But then I'm gonna keep going down the coastline. All the cliffs are eroding down there. So that part of the campsite has actually been closed off. And there's just a few houses there. And then you can walk along the beach, but then you can't get to the beach as such. You've got to go quite a long way. But I'm just going to uh, take off. Just hover there a minute. how she's doing. Get the camera down a bit. That's it, look, 600 meters.
<laughs> Here we go. I got over 2,000 meters, two and a half thousand meters. So that is the longest flight I've done with this drone with the Sky Controller. So now it's doing a return to home and we'll just see what happens. It stopped at eight minutes. Eight. 9, 10, 11, 12. So it's been flying back for four minutes. So, as I say, it should be coming probably. I went down there and down the coast, but what it'll do is it should come back from over there somewhere. So I just need to look up in the sky and uh, see. And I'm at 12 minutes. I get 18 minutes. I've still got six minutes of flight time and it will be coming back. So, uh, fingers crossed, it's, uh, she's on her way back. This is the bit I don't like about the Bebop when it loses connection and it didn't lose connection until I turned it around. So it's because the antennas are now facing the front and basically after five seconds this should fly home anyway but I did about 2,300 meters and I did a return to home. So I'm getting 13 minutes, I've still got three, four minutes of flight time. So I'll keep going and just see what happens. What will happen is it won't fall out the sky anyway. What happens with this particular drone, it will do um, a landing. So wherever it is, it will just come down and land and hopefully I'm over fields, etc. And it won't come down in the caravan park. But this is always the nerve wracking thing. It's waiting. Uh, there's a bit of a breeze, about seven, 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 eight miles an hour. It's not um, strong and it's not all the time. And actually the wind will be behind me. I had a bit of headwind or a crosswind coming from right to left as I was going out. So now that should be pushing me back a little bit, but I can't see her in the sky yet and I can't hear her so fingers crossed she's uh, 
just coming back because that's the furthest I've ever flown with this quadcopter without any interference. I didn't get interference, it basically came, it disconnected when I turned it away from me. So the only thing I could have done was just to have flown backwards all the way and then maybe that would have been okay. But I can't see her, I can't hear her. I'm just hoping I've got enough. I had about 35% battery uh, with a bit of wind behind me. That should be plenty. But I honestly don't know. So, I've just got to wait. I'm going at 15 minutes now. And I've got no picture back. So, I'm getting a bit worried now because I should have had picture back by now. Um, but I've had nothing. I'll try and get my phone out. Still doing return to home somewhere, but I cannot see her at all, and I can't hear her either. So I can't sort of push her forward. It's not connected. I mean, I'll try. Maybe that is forward. So I'll just sort of try and get her to come home. see anything. She hasn't fallen, but I will be getting low battery now. We're getting to 17 and a half minutes. No um, picture. Can't hear her, can't see her. I've got literally a minute to get back. I'm going to have to come out of this app and go back in. Still nothing, she's not reconnected. Uh, I don't know what's going off, I can't see her anywhere. Uh, I definitely can't hear her. This is what I hate about it. can't control what is happening right now. I've got no idea where she is. Maybe I shouldn't have pushed it as far as I did. She's not up there. She's not coming back. I'm only 60 odd metres high. Walk 